Good evening from Wakefield, where the polls have just closed in the all-important by-election, which is taking place today. It's a big one for everyone involved because it's, um, there's a lot at stake here because it is one of those infamous red wall seats that everyone always talks about in politics, uh, which means basically it was a Labour heartland. It was taken from them in 2019 by Boris Johnson's Conservatives on that quite Brexity ticket. And now Labour needs to take it back if they have any chance of winning a general election. That means it's a big night for Keir Starmer and a big test for him here in West Yorkshire. But it's also a big night for Boris Johnson because, again, if he can't hold on to seats like this, can he win the next general election? And he's been looking pretty rocky as it is recently due to Partygate and that scandal and various questions around his character and ethics, which resulted in a, a vote of no confidence a few weeks ago. So big test for him as well here in Wakefield. Um, I think more importantly though arguably is a big night for the constituency itself because it hasn't had an MP for over a year now I think because the last incumbent Imran Ahmed Khan uh, was uh, he's just recently been jailed for a series of sex offences uh, which um, caused him to stand down as an MP and so He's been replaced. That's left a bit of a sour taste for Conservatives in the area and it has led to this by-election. But it does mean that after tonight, Wakefield will have a new MP for the first time in a year and the constituency will start to have its needs served again. So big night for Wakefield, big night for Boris Johnson, big night for Keir Starmer. And not the only thing at stake this evening because there's a by-election which is also going on in Tiverton and Honiton, right down in the southwest, which is obviously very far from here, but has a similar amount at stake because that is a strong Conservative seat uh, which has been recently disrupted as its MP Neil Parrish had to stand down for watching pornography in the House of Commons chamber. That was a blow to the Conservatives and they are facing a fierce challenge from the Lib Dems. Uh, even though the constituency has a majority of over 20,000 and here it is just 3,300 I believe. And so it's a big night down there where the Lib Dems could t potentially take the seat off of the Conservatives. If that was to happen, along with the win here in Wakefield, if that happens, then that would be the first time in over 30 years the government has lost two, two by-elections in one night. So plenty at stake, plenty to come. We're expecting the first ballots to come in here in Wakefield at about 20 past half past 10, so maybe 10 or so minutes. Follow at Radio News Hub on all our social accounts and follow our bulletins if you want to stay up to date from me.